Before examining the neck vessels, elevate the head of the bed or examination table to about 30 degrees and ask the patient to lie down. To assess the carotid arteries, first inspect the neck for pulsations. To feel the carotid artery, place your left thumb or your right index and middle fingers on the right carotid artery just inside the sternomastoid muscle. Palpate in the lower half of the neck to avoid pressing on the carotid sinus. As you feel the pulse, concentrate on its amplitude and contour. Note any variation in amplitude from beat to beat or with respiration. With your right thumb, palpate the left carotid pulse in the same manner, comparing it with the other side. Do not press on both carotid arteries at once. Next, use the bell of the stethoscope to auscultate for a bruit on both sides of the neck. A bruit is a whooshing, murmur-like sound that suggests arterial narrowing. If present, it would sound like this. Now, examine the jugular veins. Have the patient turn his head away from you slightly. Then, using tangential lighting, inspect the jugular veins on the right side. Usually, the best vein for analysis is the right internal jugular. First, identify the external jugular vein. If it's not visible, compression just above the clavicle may distend it. Then, find the pulsations of the internal jugular vein. Here, they are seen between the two attachments of the sternomastoid muscle. To estimate jugular venous pressure and the pressure in the right atrium, first identify the highest point of pulsation in the internal jugular vein. Next, find the sternal angle. Then measure the vertical distance between that point and the sternal angle in centimeters. The number of centimeters is an estimate of jugular venous pressure. When recording this estimate, also document the angle at which the bed is elevated. In this patient, the internal jugular venous pressure is one centimeter above the sternal angle, with the head of the bed elevated 30 degrees. In another patient, the pulsations of the internal jugular vein are easy to see, especially during expiration. Note their soft, rapid, undulating quality with two elevations and two troughs per heartbeat. Compare them to the single thrust of the carotid artery pulsations.